thinking, Craig, were you smelling your finger when the camera was turned on? I was a little bit. I'll tell you why, though. Because uh, I wanted to see what it smelled like. And... Bulls. No, it doesn't. <laughs> now that one, that one's like this. No, it smells just like regular stuff I've been eating and stuff. Don't even say it, man. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, no, I was just, <laughs> I was just thinking and then he turned the camera on and I was like, oh, it looks like I'm smelling my finger. But I wasn't really. I was smelling my finger and it smells like balls. Anyway, look, moving on. <laughs> Here's the thing, I know what you're thinking, Craig, is that a plaid tie you're wearing? And actually the answer is no, it is not plaid, because plaid is not what I say. I am from Scotland, so it's called tartan, although this isn't really tartan, I don't think, it's just sort of some kind of design. <laughs> but you know what I'm calling about, but it's tartan day is what I'm saying. Today is International Tartan Day, when we celebrate Scotland. <laughs> and I'm a very big part of it. Hence my tie and my finger smelling like balls. <laughs> well, these kilts don't adjust themselves, you know. <laughs> anyway, in honor of Tartan Day, I'll tell the uh, story. You know, because people always say, Ho, oh, oh, what does a Scotsman wear under his kilt? Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so here's what a Scotsman wears under his kilt. Your wife's lipstick. <laughs> Can't say that? CBS Cares. CBS Cares, we'll be right back. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit progressive.com today. Quietly, you're beginning to scare me. Also, I think doing all that, whoosh, there was a lot of that. I'm like, what, did Aerosmith come on? Or Ooh. Is that what you do? That, that's no Aerosmith, that's uh, a rodeo. That's, uh, that's, that's uh, West Side, and, and that's Celine Dion. Near, far, wherever you are. <laughs> well, I hurt myself a bit there. You don't want to do me doing that with chest implants in, I can tell you that. Yes, I have chest implants. Just one. In your bed. In pants. my bed. <laughs> Why, you? Don't side with the appliance, it's a long show. <laughs> it is, though, a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. It's a great day, but not a great day. Not a great day for the fans of Glenn Beck. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Fox News announced today that they're dropping a show and Glenn spent the whole day crying his eyes out and then someone told him that the show was getting dropped. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. You're right, I didn't like it much either. It was a lame late night joke told by a middle-aged white guy in a dark studio. <laughs> Where else can you get that on TV? Oh. <laughs> 
It's a great day uh, for the underwater life, you know, uh, fish, plankton, aquaman, because today uh, the beardy gazillionaire Richard Branson, you know, the... Yeah, that's what he's like. Yeah. He unveiled a, a new project, a submarine that can zoom around like a jet airplane. It's awesome. You know, the Branson's a guy that started all the Virgin things. Uh, Virgin Records, Virgin Atlantic, Susan Boyle. <laughs> Make sense. Do not apply. I tell you, well, let's not that. Just hang on. I have to put my sweary thing up. I'm gonna swear. Hold on. <laughs> all right, you ready? Knock that <laughs> off. All right. <laughs> so, I, so I did that, and then you applauded. <laughs> But anyway, Richard Branson is uh, currently the 212th richest man in the world. 212? Like, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett hear that, like, yeah, <laughs> loser. But that was a very good Bill Gates impression there, by the way. <laughs> Richard Branson's already started working on a space exploration program, and now he wants to explore the, the depths of the ocean. I'm thinking, this is a guy that really hates his family. <laughs> But he, he's, a, he's, got, he's a bit of a show-off, though. I like his style. You know, he, he's fond of... I, mean, I like the way he accessorises. You got that picture when he was uh, in the jet ski or something? Yeah, look at that, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! That's a guy that likes to enjoy... ...activities. He's got a nude model strapped to his back there, and, and his new submarine has a nude model strapped to the back of it, too. Do you have a picture of the submarine? There you go, check that out. <laughs> I can't show you the, what happens when the captain says, Periscope up. <laughs> uh, unless we can get that little dot. Uh, no, I can't show you. I can tell you the sound that it's made that, that I make, though, when the, the Periscope goes up. <laughs> Ouch! Mm. Uh, <laughs> Ouch? Mm, yeah! Now, I've never been to the bottom of the ocean, but I already know what's there. Water. You're welcome, Richard Branson. I just saved you half a billion dollars. But the new submarine's amazing. It can go seven miles down, and that's very, very deep. Now, how deep is it, Craig? Well, it's so deep, even Noam Chomsky doesn't understand it. <laughs> ah. So, we have an audience full of fans of analytic philosophy, I see. We don't know what that is. But we're ashamed not to laugh. Don't worry, it's funny if you're brainy. I don't understand it either. There's a new, the new submarine is designed. What it's going to do is going to scoof. Uh, scoof. Yeah, it's a. It's a Scottish. Gesundheit. No, 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 it's a Scot. Thank you, but it's a Scottish word, scoof. It means scoop. And uh, the submarine is going to scoop stuff up. Uh, like, you know, microbes and soils and, you know, the mysterious creature who lives in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> Humans have never been to the bottom of the ocean. The pressure's too great. We've only ever sent robot capsules down there. You know, little things that go at the bottom and shine a light and explore. I have a little thing that explores my bottom. He's over there. You all right? <laughs> Get off, man. You're overacting again. Just uh, bring it down a bit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, all right. You, yeah, you know. All right. Anyway, I'm talking about the, uh, the submarines. You know, a submarine uses water as ballast. It keeps it stable, but it changes its buoyancy by sucking in air through a hole in the side. It's like a boat made by Southwest Airlines, is what I'm saying. <laughs> You need to, I'm telling you, you do that one more time, I'll throw you a fish. <laughs> that, like that. Do you know what I hate? And wheel, it's Wheel of Fortune that caused that. Wheel of Fortune, because they run the wheel and then they go, uh, they go, what the hell are you doing? You, run, you, you, get, you get a round of applause from, for... <laughs> I'm going to buy a cuss word, please, Alex. Oh, it's Pat's Ajax, isn't it? All right, never mind. Whoever it is. Oh, no, it didn't, it didn't work? Well, you'll have to pixelate it then. I, uh... It's time for a commercial break anyway, I think. Probably.
Commercials uh, like fun little movies. <laughs> Not the ones that, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely the ones that we'll see now. Yeah, the, uh, the ShamWow, that's up in the, uh, boner pills. Uh, the uh, ShamWow, boner pills, what else? Uh, vacations, probably some vacations and some uh, smartphones. What else you got? Bulls. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to put this up. Uh, and, uh, no, I'm not, I, I like the idea of this thing, though. Oh, look. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Like that. If we do that and then put it there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> You're going to need a bigger dot. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. My show business secrets. Bulls. Oh, never mind. Uh, my first guest is in a new film called Super, which is in theaters now. Take a look at this. I want to show you something. Some time. You look very nice. Oh, well, you look awesome yourself. Oh, stop it As now. Always. Are you all right there? It's, I always feel that you're a bit, uh, that seat's a bit big for you. You know, I feel like most seats are, but. Well, hang on. We got our thing here that we what can. You... Uh, yeah, I got this in case Tom Cruise is ever on. Oh. Here, hold on. So this is. Yeah, you put that there. All right. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Well, isn't this a treat? Yeah. This is the big time show business now. You can rest your feet there. People will get you a latte. Would you like some cocaine or something? You know, I've been thinking I should do more drugs just for, no, you know, the, no, the no. romantic. No, it's not romantic no, no. at all. That's a myth, you know. No, I, 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 I You're think a very clean awful. living person, awful. aren't you? Very clean living. Very clean living. <laughs> What does, that, what does that mean? That, that means you're not? Um, no, it means I'm really, I'm really healthy. I eat really healthy. It's really probably annoying to people. Really? Are you, are you a vegan? Um, well, you know, I, I... Well, you eat steak, but other than that, you're a vegan, right? I mean, you know, other, other than, um, other than uh, for mere survival with my own two hands in the, in the wilderness, which I do. Have you ever hunted and killed an animal? With my own two hands. With your yeah. own two hands? Yeah, yeah. What kind of animal would it be then? A giraffe? Um, do you get a lot of giraffes in Nova Scotia? A lot you? of giraffes in Nova Scotia, no, They'd yeah. be cold yeah, up yeah. there. It's too cold for them. That's why you never get giraffes in Nova Scotia. Too cold for them. A little, a little chilly for them, yeah. Well, do you, well, that's where you're from, isn't it? Nova I'm Scotia? from Nova Scotia. Yeah, yeah. That's in Canada, you know. It's in, it's in, it's in eastern Canada. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, I got a flag here somewhere. I, I saw that earlier. Yeah. I saw that earlier and uh, and uh, got excited by it. Now that's do Canadians get aroused by their own flag? They, I think they do. I think. Because I've been up there in the summer. I'm going to get a T-shirt yeah. with a flag on. My, 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 uh, my mom probably doesn't want me to say this, but she has a little. She has a little uh, maple leaf tattoo. She has a maple leaf tattoo. Your mom is a she's tattoo. Pretty, she's a pretty. You're awesome. Yeah. Your mom is a yeah, tattoo. She's she's quite the badass. So she has this little uh, this little uh, maple leaf tattoo. Yeah. Where where does she? Uh... On her back. Ooh, tramp stamp. I, yeah. <laughs> is it really? Sorry, is it, Mom. Is it down, that's, that's all right. Yeah. No one in Nova Scotia will mention it. There's no yeah. gossip up there. Is yeah. It? No. No. I, I, I mean, yeah. Do you ever see a moose up there? 
Uh, yeah. Have yeah. you really? Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Well, I one night I was uh, uh, camping actually, and uh, I was in the tent, middle of the middle you, of the night. Do you have a house? Um, <laughs> I do. I live in a I live in an I have an apartment up there, but right. I was camping, and I heard something huge outside. I was like, oh, it's a bear. I'm dead. Yeah. Um, my life's that's it. My life's done. What kind of bears do you have up there? Um, Kodiaks? Um, uh, I guess brown bears? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Black, I don't know. I, yeah, I've seen yeah. a bear, too. Yeah, you'd... Anyway, there was a huge oh, right, right, right. moose. A moose? A moose outside of They're the actually very dangerous, you know. They I mean, are, I'm joking, and, and but they're dangerous. And there was a baby, and there was, it had a baby. So. That's even worse. It was, it was... Yeah, a moose comes up to you and, and gives you, a, you know, a, a moose knuckle? You've had it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what that is, do you? Moose knuckle? In your pants. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Moose knuckle is kind of like an exaggerated, you know, you know how camels have got toes? Moose have got knuckles. Oh, I see. Yeah, all right, see what I'm saying? I'll use that if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, go ahead. Now, but you're living down here now. You'll never see a moose. Nah. Are you living here now? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is this where you got the hat? Oh, do you like, yeah. I do like yeah, the hat, yeah. It's got a little bit of hipster about it. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, um, yeah, I, uh, you know, I thought I would try and spruce no, it up a little no, bit. No, I think you're looking good. This I think is a wig, so it just, like, hides. <laughs> Do you, I, I think I might get a wig. Oh, yeah? Another one. Like, for what? You know, I would like to go blonde, but CBS won't let me. They say I'll look even creepier. I'm like, I'm creepy anyway. It doesn't matter. You should, you should. I'd like to go blonde and then dye my eyebrows one color different to another color. I, I think that's a great idea. And then I'll always look like I'm kind of a little bit closer on one side. <laughs> would you ever dye your hair? Have I ever? No, or have you ever? No, I've never, and I mean, it's not something I think about. I don't think about stuff like that, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what do you think about then, Noam Chomsky? <laughs> What do I think about? Uh. Like when you're when you're thinking when you're in a coffee shop mm -hmm. listening to you know Suzanne Vega records. <laughs> what do you think about? Oh, well, you know. Are like you interested in philosophy? Yeah, I mean, because you, you are you're quite a thinker. You're quite a reader, aren't you? You're quite a book reader. I'd say what I kind read. Of, what, kind of, what kind of reading do you like to do? You like to read fiction? I like to read fiction. I do tend to read more nonfiction, but I like fiction. What kind of nonfiction do you read? Biographies. Um, well, I mean, I just read Patti Smith's memoir, which is, you know, one of the best books I've ever read. Really? I don't know if you've read it. Just no, Kids. I haven't. No, oh. she's interesting. It's Patty phenomenal. Smith. Yeah, ah. she's amazing. So that, that was amazing. Um, no, typically, like, environmental and uh, oh, I a lot see. of Bill McKibben and David Suzuki. And no, I have no idea what you're talking oh. about. <laughs> what about the, uh, do you drive a Prius? No. What do you got? I have a Mini. A Mini? Yeah. A Ford Mini? <laughs> Ford are advertising on the show. I don't want to look like a jerk. Oh, I see, yeah, I see, you know, I see. Ford don't make minis. I know who I makes see. minis. I'm not an idiot. Yeah. Well, I am a bit of an idiot because I'm talking quietly like they can't hear me. They can, of course, hear me. I just quite like this. is a new technique I'm using. What do you think? It's good. Am I scaring you? I'm a bit like a kind of to catch a predator guy right now. No, I kind of like it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, but you're unusual. You're a very unusual person. I don't know how you... I don't know how you're going to fit in in L.A., I really don't. I mean, the, it, because, you know, it's all surfing and, you know, and, and Botox here. That's not your scene at all, you know. You're no, you'd be surprised. <laughs> what, when would I be surprised, then? Uh, would I, uh, would, uh, do you think you'll get into the surfing, then? Well, or I'm, Botox? I'm really into Botox. No way! Yeah. Look at you. You're as natural as a sunrise. You would never date. Don't do that now. Don't. It's the don't, Botox. No, don't, don't do it. People don't know this, but I'm 37. <laughs> See, where, from where I'm sitting, 37 doesn't look that old. Uh, so, uh, like, I knock know. it off or you'll get, you know... I, I, I'm, th I'm not saying 37's old, but it's older than 24. You're 24? That's what I say I am. Ah, but you're actually 37. But I'm 37. Nice. Yeah. Have you ever worked in the circus? Um, no. Oh, hmm. you're not who I thought you were then. <laughs> Do you like circuses? Only if they're not animals, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I, one time I went to a, a circus in uh, in Portugal. What? And, yeah, it was in Portugal when I was 16. I had a half-shaved head at the time, 
and it was in this co pretty conservative little town in Portugal and I went to the circus and um, it was amazing and it was amazing because I couldn't understand anything and also because it would just be like a woman would come out and they'd be playing Michael Jackson's Thriller right. and she would have like a marionette and it would be a skeleton but all she would really be doing is going like this to the beat of the song yeah for the whole song so the skeleton would just be like <laughs> to thriller yeah um and then came out uh, there was like a llama and it llamas had, are awesome they're like sexy sheep and it had a <laughs> It had a monkey on its back, and the monkey was riding the llama. The but monkey no, was riding the llama? No, the monkey was chained to the llama. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the monkey was just like... No, no, I don't, no, I'm not buying this at all. Oh, it's 100% Really? Which part of Portugal was this in then? Crazy town? It was just like, it was like an hour outside of Lisbon. Really? I've been to Lisbon. Yeah. The driving there is crazy. Did you drive around in Lisbon? I didn't drive, but I would be in cabs, and yes, it was crazy. Yeah, it's but really nice. Lisbon's bad. amazing. Lisbon's yeah, no, it's beautiful. a nice town. Yeah, I like yeah. Portugal. Have you ever been to the south of Portugal? No, I haven't. I, I once drove from the south of Portugal to Africa. What? Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> in a stolen car. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't have told you Did that you on steal television. The car? Yeah, of course yeah. I stole the car. I don't have people steal my car. I'm not, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> I steal my own cars, thank you very much indeed. Well, you could have bought a stolen car for like you what's know, the point? $500. What's the point of buying a car if you're going to steal one? <laughs> have you ever stolen a car? Um. You can tell me. It's all right. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Can you open a car with a... a well, it was hand? after I saw Gone in 60 Seconds. All yeah, right, you know? well... I think everybody wanted to Everybody like, did. <laughs> That's what Stole happened to... It's Nick Cage that causes all the problems. That's why Jeff know. Peterson's here, because after Ghost Rider, I saw Ghost Rider. I want, I want my own skeleton with his head on fire. And they, you know, obviously, you know, I had to compromise. I don't know what those sound effects I did had anything to do with stealing a car, but... Yeah, the... Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah, it put, yeah, it made car... It just romanticized car stealing. Yeah, which CBS doesn't approve of that. Anyway. Right. Yeah. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, well, we'll stay here, and you'll stay there, but we'll play some commercials. <laughs> Long story that you. Hi, everybody! Welcome back. Uh, we're just talking about. Did you, so you got your hat? Yeah, I got. In my Portugal, hat. where you stole the car? No, no, no. I got the hat here. I, I, I was given the hat. Really? Yeah. Do people give you stuff now that you're in movies and stuff? Do they say here have uh, you know wear our sneakers? I get things. Did you get given those? I mean, sort of. I mean, I'm wearing. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. They're like vintage. I don't know what they're, they're vintage. Are. You know, you're quite a hipster though. Do you go up and down oh, Melrose God. and spend a lot of money on no, the no, no. old T-shirts? I never go shopping. Ugh. Like uh, here, I'll give you an example. Okay. Um, when I got the the oh God, this is embarrassing. This is I don't I just don't own many things. I don't have many things in my apartment. I don't you own know. many things as, either. As you and I got your mug last time I was here, and it was the only mug. It was the only mug I had, and the only mug I had tea out of, and it broke. But only this part broke, so I was still using it like this. Yeah. And when I heard I was going to do your show again, I was like, great. I'll get another another cup. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure I'll give you it's something for your apartment here. Here, do you like, uh, do you like Eddie Izzard? Um, yeah. Oh, there's a, here's well, a picture of him. Oh, great. Uh, how about, uh, how about uh, koala bears? Do you like koala bears? Not so much? I mean, I don't dislike koala bears. Uh, I mean, I that's, no, I'm not I don't feeling, know much no, about we, them. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see what we got. Uh, <laughs> all right. How about, uh, you need a periscope? I definitely need that. Oh, this is actually a marshmallow gun. No, you can't have that. Is that, uh, that is? Do you want the picture of Liza? No, i got to keep that. Uh, how about a wig? There. A wig. A Dracula wig. <laughs> Actually, you know what you should do is one of those vampire movies that all the kids are doing now. You know where the vampires have feelings and they're vegetarians yeah. and stuff? I, I feel like we don't have enough about vampires going on right you now. You should do a vampire uh, movie, I think. Oh, God, we better talk about your movie. Kid, we didn't even talk oh, about yeah. it. I was too busy talking People to Eddie. People should go see it. For yeah, yeah. What is the movie about? It's about Rain Wilson, plays this character who uh, is married to Liv Tyler, mm -hmm. and uh, she's a former drug addict, and uh, she gets kind of sucked back into the drug world by the uh, wonderful, um, but 
rather not so nice Kevin Bacon in this film. Right. And uh, so there you are. You got your Kevin Bacon number one now. You've worked with Kevin Bacon, right? Yeah. Good for you. Um, and then uh, what ends up happening is he wants to get his wife back, so he creates his own superhero named the Crimson Bolt, and he uses a pipe wrench as a weapon. Crimson Bolt. The Crimson Bolt. Bolt. Crimson Bolt. Yeah. And then he meets me at a comic book store, and I become his kid sidekick named uh, Bolty. And I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a psychopath and a little bit of a sexual predator. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think I want to see this film. Really. <laughs> kind of freaking me out. Uh, we're kind of out of time, actually. Um, do you, uh, do you want this wig or not? Yeah, not really. <laughs> So you're passing up a free wig? Um, yeah. All right, yeah. So you're basically saying all property is theft? Oh, you didn't say that. But you implied it. All right, uh, fine. Uh, then you don't want anything else here. I think I've got, hold on. I've got some cough sweets. You know what I'm saying? Do you want some candy? <laughs> some candy. <laughs> I love how your candy is Halls. Yeah, wanna, well, you know. Do, hey, don't little say girl, that. you want some Halls? <laughs> it's like you know me. Oh, little girl. Hey, you a, hey little girl, you have a cough. Come have some Halls. Hey, knock it off. You're mocking me now. I have to put all my stuff back. Uh, well, um, mouth organ or awkward pause? Mouth organ. Oh, you did an awkward pause and then asked for the mouth. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't care. So no, 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 you can that's surprise fine. Me. No, no, that's fine. Here. All right, can you play? No. Okay, this is going to be good. All right. What do I, I take this? Take it out and blow it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so. Can we get accordions or something? Because this. Yeah, it's just, you know. I've, I feel like I've. I've well, I can't talk that. <laughs> Ellen Page, everybody, we were right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a very funny comedian. His uh, podcast is available on the iTunes. He's appearing at the Turner Ballroom, Milwaukee, in Wisconsin on April the 8th. April the 8th. <laughs> I'm trying out some stuff. <laughs> Please welcome Mark Maron, everybody. Mark Maron. Nice to see you people. There's a camera between us. This is a weird thing about technology. I've been thinking about this. You know, between cell phones, emails, texting, it's, a, it's like a boundary to intimacy. The technology is in between us, and we can't get to each other. And that's why when I go to the airport, I opt for the pat-down. <laughs> I mean, either you're going to go through a full body scanner, which there's no one involved, there might be a man in a room laughing, but that's about it. They never have a guy there. You know why they put the guy in the room? Because you can't have a guy looking at a full body scanner and have him sitting there going, oh, nice. <laughs> or else just laughing at you. But I, I opt for the pat down because I want a human experience. This is a true story. I, the first pat down I ever had, I'm like, I want to do this. I don't want to go through a full body scanner. This is going to take away this guy's job. I want to have a human experience with this person. So I go into the pen where they pat you down, and the guy who's going to pat me down comes out, and he's in his mid-50s, he's got a toupee, he's sweating, he looks panicked, and now I'm nervous. I'm like, this isn't going well. <laughs> and literally, I put my hands up, and he looks at me. I'm standing like this, and he looks at me. The first thing he says is, I just got back. So I'm like, what does that even mean? Why did you go away? What's going to happen to me here? And then he says, no, 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 I don't understand the protocols. I'm, I'm new to the protocol. And I'm like, well, me too. Let's work through it together, buddy. <laughs> so they have that whole script they do. They do that thing where I'm standing there like this, and he goes, do you have any sensitive areas? And I'm like, yeah, I, I do. You know, the regular ones, the ones you have, I, I have. 
And then they have to start talking. They've talked through the whole thing, and he's patting down my leg, and he's down there, and he's kind of freaking out because he's nervous, and I'm now I'm nervous. Like, someone's got to be in charge. You're wearing the uniform. Make this happen, you know? <laughs> so he's patting my calf down, and he's sitting there going, I'm patting your calf down. And I had this moment where I thought I was supposed to say, warmer, warmer. <laughs> Oh my God, you're almost there. <laughs> but Biden saved me. <laughs> I just stood there and let him awkwardly do this thing. And he's behind me. He's like, I'm turning my hands around to pat your backside. And at that point, I was like, just grab it. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> just, I just, you're making me nervous. So this all goes on and he, he finishes. And then I see his supervisor standing there watching him. So he's, he was twice as nervous. So I'm walking out and his supervisor looks at me and gives me one of those like, and I'm like, okay, fine. And I swear to you, I got 10 feet out of that pen. I heard the guy who pat me down say, hey, thanks, man. I, I, like, I had this moment where I felt like I should turn around and go, do you want me to hang out? You know, I can walk you through the next few if you want. I mean, I'm early for my flight. I mean, if you need the moral support. I guess I'm a little, uh, I, maybe I'm edgy. Maybe I need more human contact. I don't know. I, I've been single for about three and a half years, and I've been dating aggressively. Um, <laughs> or sexually acting out. It's not really clear to me. Is there a difference? Is there a difference between dating and sexually acting out? I mean, I've been pretty honest with women that I meet. You know, I basically tell them, look, I'm recently divorced. I'm brokenhearted. I'm angry. I'm incapable of trust or intimacy. I don't know if I ever will be again. I just want to have sex for a while. You okay? with that it is amazing how many women hear that as I love you please move in with me <laughs> he's a fixer-upper I'm getting him right at the right time but it's weird when you have sex right away with somebody you can't build emotionally from there usually what happens is you'll meet somebody or I'll meet somebody we'll have sex quickly as often as possible till you hit that first wall a week in and you're like I don't even know you she's like I don't really know you either and then you have to trauma bond for an hour you're like well my dad's a manic depressive my mom kind of has an eating disorder she's like oh my god I have an eating disorder I'm like of course you do can we just keep having sex and then you go for a couple more weeks do you have to overcome that first minor obstacle and it's usually something ridiculous like you know how can you not like tortilla chips everyone likes tortilla chips. That's ridiculous. Were you abused by a Latino? Because that should have come out during the trauma bond. But I'm okay with it. Let's just keep having sex. And then after about a month of that, I'm usually like, happy anniversary. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, today it seems like a year. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Good enough. How are you, pal? I'm fine. Yeah, I feel like I should be a little more tactile. Yo, yo, you, what? Why? Because uh, of the corduroy? Well, with the pat down thing. It's, oh, you're sure. That friendly. We can I, do that. No, no. Okay, you're all right. I'll yeah, stay yeah, right yeah. here. We Have you? Is that true about the dating thing? Are you really uh, single and gonna? Well, yeah. I mean, I've been single. I, I have been dating pretty aggressively. It's gotten pretty weird sometimes, uh, but it's okay. Talk to me about weird. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Well, I want to go into the dark and seedy life of Mark Maron where he meets someone weird and does weird things with them, then comes on the low-budget TV show and tells me about it. Okay, I've got a story for you, but it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna get as weird as it could. I dated a dominatrix for a while. This is awesome. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> but oddly, I'm not into that. You see, I, I dated her, and, uh, you know, I knew that's what she did. And well, I, so she, that was her job. That was, was her job. Right, right. You know, so I couldn't tell, really, whether I was evolving or dead inside. You're right. And... I so, felt that way during the monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Mine or yours? Uh, no, both. <laughs> <laughs> but the, no, so, so here's what happens. So I date her, we go out for a while, and then she gets attached to me, and then it, it's very difficult to break up with the dominatrix. But, um, <laughs> but my big fear was that I'd eventually, because I'm not into that, but my fear was that I'd eventually be you like... You keep saying you're not into that, but you dated a dominatrix, man. You must have known. As you went in, I'm talking like Shatner, but yeah. as you went in, you must have known. You thought, this is a dominatrix, and I don't care. She might, I might get hurt here, but I don't care. No, but, but the challenge was to make her normal. There's a lot of people that talk about this, you know, when, they, when people say, you know, healthy sex. What does that even mean? It, is it, means, it means you're bored, is what it means. So, oh, so that means... Yeah, it, no, you want unhealthy sex. You of know, With course. lots of electricity and appliances and, and, and custard and, well, yeah. and, and, and trombones. Yeah. Or and just... Comp yeah. Multiple people sure. arriving. It's, you know, sex yeah. should be like the stateroom scene of the Marx Brothers movie. You know, and yeah. another... Yeah. Is what I right, say. Right. Yeah. Okay. Of course.
guess that's just me. What's normal yeah. for me might not be normal for you. Well, I, I think that your conception of normal is very exciting. And I'd yeah. like to, if you want to invite me over, I can do the Groucho part. I can do whatever you need. Is Groucho code for something sexual? Yes. This is, this is my new thing. No, I like it. It's, 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 it's uh, kind of like, hey, yeah. you, know, I should, you know what I should do is like this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Money. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> is Groucho code? Yes, it's code for having a mustache and grease paint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got five bucks up. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, so uh, what's up with the comedy? You're doing Milwaukee? Where else are you going? I'm going to Melbourne, Australia. Oh, yeah. I've been there. It's fantastic. Is it? Oh, Oh, you love it. There's Australians I'm, there. They're friendly. Oh wait, they're Aus they're Australians. Oh, there. Many of them are Australians. <laughs> a large Greek community in Melbourne as well. You'll get the best Greek food you've ever had in your life unless you've been to Greece. No, I, I've, never, I've never been to Greece. I was in Australia once. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I've actually been there twice. The first time I was sent home, it was awkward. Why? Well, I was sent home from a country. I. Uh, <laughs> No, no, okay. no. I wish I had a nervous breakdown. It was great. It was on stage. And uh, I, I went to Australia and I, I, I was not, I, I took the job, you know, as a comic. I took the job knowing I didn't have enough time. And right. I was supposed to headline for four weeks. Uh -huh. And I had about 20 minutes mm -hmm. and I told them I had 45. Yeah. I've never done that. Oh, no. <laughs> So I, <laughs> I've been here for seven years. I have, in fact, 20 minutes of material. I've been using over and over again. So, so needless to say, I get there, and right away I'm freaked out because you get there, and I, I literally saw kangaroos immediately, and I thought that was a joke, but no, they're real. Oh, they're, they're, yeah, and then... <laughs> And then I'm on the wrong side of the street, and that was the first time I'd been abroad. So oh, then I was like, this, is, this street, is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then I do a show there that's popular. It's like the Letterman show, but mm -hmm. it's, it's their version of it. Mm -hmm. And I swear to you, the desk was on the wrong side of the studio. Oh, yeah, yeah that would so, throw you off, yeah. Right, so I'm, I'm literally like, this is where it's supposed to be, right? It's yeah, all on the yeah, left. So this is where side, it's supposed yeah. to be. So it's over there, and I'm like, I don't know who I am. And the water goes down the, the, when you have a bath. Well, the water know, goes around the other way. I didn't want to study that. I mean, you know, people say that, but I didn't want to be the guy going like, oh, he does. Yeah, it does. I was the guy that did that. You did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many times did you do that? A couple of times. <laughs> I'd be like, take a yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Hey, come on. Come and look at this. I'm like, we're Australian, mate. We've seen it before. <laughs> and and also, we have to get back to the rugby game. <laughs> Weird guy from another country. I don't even know which way it goes in this country. No, it doesn't um, so anyway, so what happens is I do the shows, and I, they keep chipping away at the act, and eventually come the Saturday night. I, you know what it's like to bomb, right? Oh. Yeah. So, <laughs> did you that, catch the monologue I today? Did, yeah. I did. Yeah. Well, no, that was good. Uh, but So I get up there, and I, you know, I've been chipping away at my head. I'm chipping, chipping away at the act. I'm starting to freak out. It's Saturday night, the place is packed, and I've never bombed so badly. Like, I don't know if I can explain this. All I could hear in a room full of 400 people was the embers of my cigarette burning. <laughs> that, that was the only sound. There were 400 people there, and all I hear is... <laughs> 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 man, that smoking's bad. For yeah. <laughs> that must have been what did it. So I get off, and the club owner's panicked. He's like, uh, oh, yeah, you got to, uh, yeah, I'm going to, you, you got to go home. <laughs> and there's part, well, there's part of you as a professional, you, you think, like, you know, what I said was, that's crazy. I mean, I'm just getting the hang of this. Yeah. What I was thinking was, oh, thank God. Yeah, you no, know, send me, send me home. But that yeah, was that's it. not what the actor's going to be doing now, is it? No, no, that was 20 years ago. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was it. No, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to Melbourne. I'm looking forward to, I was in Scotland once. I've been around a lot lately. Yeah. Scotland. We have to get the hell out of here. We're Are we days of time? time. Oh. <laughs> we don't even have time for an awkward pause or a mouth organ. <laughs> oh, look, we just had yeah, an awkward yeah, pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, everybody. We'll be right back. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig, that... <laughs> What the hell was that? Oh, was that the noise of the cigarette burning? 
I know what you're thinking, Craig, wait a minute, I'm the lighting guy and you didn't say you were going to stand here. <laughs> All right, I'll sit over here then. Uh, I know what you're thinking, Craig, what's that coming to go? Uh, all right, then, I will. But I'll be back tomorrow, so you better get your cable fixed. Good night, everybody.